हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी वर्चुअल लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ रावल कॉन्वेंट स्कूल मी शिल्पी योर असिस्टेंट टीचर विल टेक यू टू दी इंटरेस्टिंग जर्नी ऑफ रिसोर्सेज लेट्स बिगिन यू विल स्टडी वट वट आर रिसोर्सेज वट डू यू मीन बाई यूटिलिटी वट इज़ अ वैल्यू ऑफ अ रिसोर्स एंड अ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट टेक अ लुक अराउंड यू वट डू यू सी रिसोर्सेज रिसोर्सेज आर एवरी वेयर नो मैटर वेयर आर यू यू आर सराउंडेड बाई द रिसोर्सेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर सिटिंग ऑन द सोफा सोफा इज मेड अप ऑफ वुड वुड इज अ रिसोर्स वॉट आर यू वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑन ऑन अ कंप्यूटर और ऑन अ फोन द पीपल हु मेक दीज डिवाइस आर एक्चुअली अ रिसोर्स सो यू कैन से अ रिसोर्स इज एनी थिंग वी नीड और यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर यूजिंग कार यू आर यूजिंग सॉइल टू ग्रो प्लांट्स यू आर यूजिंग स्मार्ट फोन फॉर चैटिंग यू आर यूजिंग एयर यू इज ऑल्सो अ रिसोर्स यू आर यूजिंग वॉटर टू सेटिसफाई योर थ्रस्ट यू आर यूजिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी electricity is also a resource as it is generating from the fossil fuel fossil fuels means coal petroleum and natural gas so all these things are resources now anything that can satisfy your need is a resource you can give any example coal petroleum water all these things are resources there are few features or you can say characteristics of resources one is utility second one is value and third one is resource depletion or consumption let's begin with the utility utility means the quality of being useful here i am talking about the advantages as we are using resources we are taking the advantage of resources or you can say the state of being useful or beneficial is a utility and what is a value value means the worth of something value is equal to worth things become resources only when they have value because we are paying for it we are using fan it also has value we are using bicycle we are paying for it we are using it and we are paying for it we are using pen it also has value so everything has value now all resources have value all resources whether it's a economic value or a non economic value in no economic value like metals like golds and silver because we are using it and they are important to us or you can say utensils also it also comes under the economic value or many more things and non economic value like mountains beaches landscapes all these things are non economic value both are satisfying the human needs but difference is little bit like for this we have for economic value we are paying but for a non economic value we are not paying because these things are satisfying this these things are giving us enjoyment this these landscape the landscape give us peace and calm it has the value in a abstract sense as it calms our mind clear what is the connection between utility and value what do you mean by that resources resources provide us utility because we are using it right and you for utility for using it that product we are paying right we are paying so it becomes the value because we are paying for it so how they are connected clear resources provide us utility and as we are using resources and for the utility we are paying that becomes a value now resource depletion resource depletion means what what do you mean by the depletion depletion means reduction or you can say uh decrease lowering theek hai uh resource depletion is a term used to describe the resources in a country or area being used up and has no more of the current resource resource depletion include depletion of or you can say reduction of resources such as trees oil fish fossil fuel minerals and many more things but now due to covid 19 the production is less and the production is less consumption is less if you see that's why the you see if you see this graph it is declining due to this because the consumption is less as well as the production is also less less in the first graph if you see the price of oil has been dropped in the last one two month why there is a huge reduction in the consumption of oil because of the severe lockdown in most of the countries of the world and the second graph you see there is also significant reduction in the 
generation of electricity per million unit in India, as shown in the graph. The lockdown has resulted in immediate stopping of economic activities like industrial activity, construction activities, among others, which need higher requirement of electricity consumption. Clear? Now, time and technology. Time and technology are the two factors that change substance into the substance into the what? into the resources clear time and technology are the two factors that can change substance into the resources and both are related to the need of people in fact people themselves are most important resource because of their ideas skills knowledge discoveries that lead to the development of more resources for example for example many new modes of transport developed with the invention of wheel as you have studied in your previous course also and uh, while the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking and other pr uh, processes clear so these two factors can change substance into the resources and both are related to the need of people conservation of resources what do you mean by the conservation of resources conservation of resources is an ethical use and the protection of valuable resources such as trees minerals water wildlife and others here conservation means you can also say protection of natural world or ethical means ethical means morally correct morally correct clear Why do we need to conserve resources? Resources are scarce. Scarce means insufficient and takes millions of years to develop. Over exploitation of resources may exhaust them or you can say finish them. So it is important to conserve them. There are so many steps to conserve resources. Reuse processed food like empty bottles, cans, clothes and many things. Recycle waste material like polythene bags. Reduce misuse wastage of paper as trees are cut to manufacture for manufacturing paper and stop stop using electricity water when not in use stop using clear here stop is not mentioned use bicycle and uh, take a walk or take public transport as much as possible this these steps will definitely conserve resources now sustainable development what do you mean by the sustainable development sustainable means long lasting sustainable means long lasting you can write it also it is a pattern of resources used that aim to meet human needs while preserving the environment so these so that these needs can be met not only in the present but in the indefinite future indefinite means not clear future indefinite means not clear or you can say not fixed future listen basically sustainable development what do you mean by that sustainable development in simple word you can say economic development that is conducted without the depletion of natural resources like water land and many things and it plays a very important role because it saves natural national budget fulfills the needs of people clear and it is very important for the future generation it saves natural resources for the future generation but it me you have to keep three things in mind only then there will be sustainable development one is social progress second one is economic development third one is environment protection all these three things will work together for the sustainable development economic prote uh, sorry environmental protection how you can protect your environment by growing more trees and there are many more ways social social progress by giving equality to everyone and economic development economic development means judicious use of resources which lead to the economic growth clear now so it is the responsibility of every citizen to conserve resources and to use it 
wisely without wasting it and in the end i would like to say that nothing is permanent neither the natural resources even those who are saying that resources are inexhaustible but they also take millions of years to form to renew so who is going to see that millions of year neither me neither you the upcoming generation so for them i would really want to say please use resources in a sustainable and in a judicial way thank you